Ladies and gentlemen, hello again. Big Mike here. Yeah, so here we are in wonderful Zurich, wonderful weather, and uh, seems like uh, there's another fellow simmer than Airbus A320 just taxiing behind us. And uh, yeah, so uh, previous in my previous video, we did the flight from Frankfurt down to Zurich, and this here is going to be the return flight back to Zurich. Uh, back to Zurich, back to Frankfurt. So, without further ado, let's just hop back into the cockpit. So, okay, uh, I've already uh, changed the payload, and uh, refueling is in progress, or no, I think it's almost done. Uh, I think it's done. So um, now it's literally just uh, setting up the FMS and uh, off we go. So here we go. Okay, let's just hop down here. So, yep, square 737 300, IRAC 708, expiry 16th of August. Okay, that I'm not going to mess with. It still remembers that from our previous flight. Normally, to my understanding, it's supposed to reset after each flight, but I may be mistaken, or it's not modeled in this aircraft. But that doesn't matter, because I can just punch it in here. So we're going from Zurich... whoops. There we go. That clears everything out. And we're going back to EDDF. And our flight number for this flight is Lufthansa 3 Charlie. So, and the routing is via Degas, then uh, Zulu 5 to Romga. Whoops. What's wrong with me today? There to uh, Rumga. And then from there it's the Zulu 3. To Sudan. And then from there it's the Tango 164. Kovan and from there it's the Tango 163 to Spessart from which we begin with the begin the arrival so activate execute so and we are departing out of runway 28 via the Degas to Whiskey departure Execute. Index. Arrival. And we are landing on runway 25 left. So it's the Eyeless Zulu 25 left. There we go. Yep, that's one. And we want the Spessart 25 south. Far enough transition. And don't need any of that. Execute. Go to the flight legs and step through the plan. So, plan view. Zoom out a little bit. Okay, wait, let's just zoom in a bit. Yeah, it's a funky departure. So, we're going out on runway 28, and then we have to loop back, fly over the airport, and then we go out to the west, and then we do a pretty much a 90 degree north turn, uh, a left turn to the north. So, that's that's what that is. So let's just step through. There you go. That's the turn. And yeah, it all collect connects up nicely. So go back to this view. Zoom back in again. And put in all the performance stuff, so... Okay, I wanted to 
my idea was to fly with 6,500 kilos. Just give me 6.4. Yeah, good enough. And since this is a continuation of the previous flights, um, there seems to be a limitation of this aircraft. It takes over some of the values from the previous flight, like the flight level and the transition altitude and the winds and the temperature and also the zero fuel weight. So we have to override that all. So the zero fuel weight is 44.3. And the reserves, let's just do some number crunching over here. So that's 2, 2.3, 2 2.4. Okay, that's fine. And then uh, flight level will be flight level 200. And the cruising winds are 251 at 39. And the cruising temperature is, or actually it's ISA plus 13, which we have. So that is fine. And the transition altitude in Zurich, I believe, was 7,000, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 7,000. So that's just another thing that you have to keep an eye out for when you do back-to-back -back flights. Uh, in the IXAG, but I don't know, who knows, maybe they're going to release another bug fix. So just comparing the gross weight, 50.7. Yep, that matches. <coughs> okay, so now on we go to the overhead panel. Okay, so we're going at flight level 200. The landing elevation is okay, and at flight level 200 I need a cabin altitude of 800 feet. So, there we go, 800. And since it was odd flight number, we're going to take the left ignition. And uh, now I'm just going to set up the MCP. So it's going to be initial heading of 274. Oops. Two seven four there. And initial climb is five thousand. Ah, it's a bit twitchy here. Come on. Uh, there we go. So, auto brakes RTO. Okay, don't need the ILS. Then that was completely useless on the approach, if you guys remember. For some, like on the approach, that dial in the ILS frequency and so on, and uh, yeah, must be. I must have a difference uh, or um, outdated frequency in my scenery. Um, so that's why I didn't pick it up. But oh well, we did a visual approach. Worked out, worked out fine. Weather was okay. Um, okay, so I have Unicom set on that. Okay, this is on off. I don't need those. Okay, just going through everything. I need to reset the fuel used. There we go. Now it's pulling down to zero. There we go. Nice fresh start. And let me just see what do I need for my nav setup. Okay, so I need okay 14, uh, 14.85 actually for Zurich Kloten. You are. And it's here as well. 14.85. And then I need radial two five three. On this one and for the other one, because we're gonna be looping around, flying inbound again, I will need a zero five two.
And you only ever set those things up as a backup, just in case you have a failure with the FMC. <coughs> Okay, and let me just check what the QNH is. And first of all, let me see if there's anyone. Oh, we got Zurich Tower online all of a sudden. Neat. So QNH 1017, that works for me. So I'll just match that up. Put the seatbelt signs on. Just make sure that I'm not forgetting anything. Can turn that on. Okay, let me just see. I'm just reviewing the charts over here. Just to make sure that I'm not missing out anything. So good, no speed restrictions. Okay, looks good. So now I'm just gonna do my Oh wait, now since this guy's online, let me just see. Oh. Ah, don't you love that? switched around the active runways. So now instead of runway 28, it's runway 32. Ah, oh, I hate when they do that. It's runway 32. Huh, the runway we came out from. But I'm going to try and request uh, runway 34. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, let me just select the correct charts. down here, because this will need changing. Hmm, actually, Burton Way 3-2 would make more sense. Haha. <laughs> or, no, I take it back, Runway 3-4. Yeah, three, four would make more sense. So, okay, don't need those charts anymore. <sighs> okay, so runway three, four, and I need the Davis three Fox drops. Execute. Okay. Check if this all makes sense. And I have a hunch it doesn't. Oh, it does. Okay. Really? Hmm. Okay. Never mind that. I took the wrong sit. I'll take the Degas uh, 2 Hotel. That one makes a bit more logical sense. So. 
departure. It's runway 34. And the dig is to hotel. Alright, now let's try it out. Yeah, that looks more sensible. So step, step, step. And then there we go. After Dacus, we go to Rumga. Enter. There we go. Now it ties up nicely. Okay, let me just go to my IVAP. Because, let me just refile my flight plan. So let's dig us to hotel. Just so that the air traffic controller will know what I'm gonna what I'm about to request. Okay, so close that. So that is done. Okay. <coughs> so now I have to do my new NAF setup. So I need Zurich East as my VOR. So one z one one zero at oh five. And this I'll leave on Zurich. And I need radio zero seven five. Okay. So far, so good. Now, let me just do my takeoff calculations, performance calculations. So, let me just get the latest weather. Yep, that looks good. So, my handy dandy tool. So, LSZH. And we are departing out of runway. Hmm. Let me just see. I could do an intersection takeoff. Echo 8. Yeah. Let's go for that. <coughs> so, wind is 270 at zero 05. Oh, come on. And temperature is 25. Q&H 1017. Flaps 5, AC on, anti is off, and my takeoff weight for this departure will be 50.6 tons. So, 50,602. Calculate. And just to be on the safe side, not that I get a like a last second runway change or something, I'm just also going to calculate it for the other runway just to be on the safe side. So this is for runway 3, 4. So 58 degrees. And it's 130, 130, 140. Flaps 5. AC on, anti eyes off. And. For runway 3 2, just as a backup. And for that, I will be doing the full. Everything else remains the same. And it's virtually the same numbers. Cool. It's exactly the same numbers. Wonderful. Splendid. Okay, don't need that anymore. So let's just hammer in the numbers. So, 58 degrees. Okay, flaps 5, just want to make sure that it's taking that value. 
and so it's one three zero one three zero and one four zero set that up and also the speed book so it's one three zero one three zero so one three zero okay two bugs by one three zero one four zero then it's one one four zero plus fifteen is one five five somewhere around there there we go <coughs> okay so that is all set alrighty then let me just pre-select the tower frequency so it's one one eight decimal one That's set. <coughs> okay. So now I'm going to do what I forgot to do in my last video. Uh, I'm going to do the departure briefing. So we're a Boeing 737-300 in uh, Zurich. Departure will be out of runway. 34 via the Degas to hotel departure. At 4 DME of Kloten, right turn, maximum 210 knots, intercept radial 255 of Zurich East, inbound, and uh, uh, initial climb up to 5,000 feet. MSA is 5,700 to the northwest and 4,500 to the northeast, and then um, 5,900 and uh, also 9,200 in the southeastern sector. Emergency briefing before 80 knots. And in case of a rejected takeoff, before 80 knots, we abort for any malfunction. Below V1, we abort for engine fire or failure, or uh, aircraft becomes uncontrollable. Actions are, I call stop, um, throttles idle, speed brake deploy, max reverse, come to a full stop, and s uh, set parking brake. <coughs> and uh, extend the flaps to f uh, 40 degrees. And then depending on the situation, we'll analyze it and then either evacuate on the runway or taxi back to stand. Quick and dirty departure and emergency briefing complete. So now it's all about requesting it accordingly and hoping that we get it. So what I'm going to do right now, sorry I just took a sip of water, so what I'm going to do right now is just close the window, and turn on the fuel pumps, turn on the APU, and turn on the window heat. And now we wait. AGT rising. Splendid. There we go. AP on bus. Wonderful. So we disconnect the ground power. Might as well close the cargo door. And also disconnect the air supply. And technically I should be waiting at least a minute before I engage uh, APU bleed, but I'm just going to go for it. <coughs> okay, just cancel the master caution. OK. 
Okay. So now we call up our first checklist. So cockpit check reduced checklist. Gear pins removed. Peter static checked. Circuit breakers checked. Fuel six thousand four hundred and thirty kilograms. Pumps on. Cabin signs on. Window heat on. Hydraulics. Normal. Cabin control. Set ground. Instruments. 184. Altimeters. 1017, 1430. Auto brake. RTO. FMC. Set. Speed brake. Down detent. Radios. Set. Cockpit check. Reduce checklist complete. So. Here goes nothing. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, Zurich Tower just went offline. Oh, this is so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, the joys of flying online. <laughs> Whatever, I'm just going to I'm just going to stick with my uh, I'm just going to stick with it now. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just going to stick with it. <coughs> so, now I'm going to do my usual thing. Repair, and I'm just gonna connect first. Ground to cockpit. Toe is driving up. Who knows? Maybe the tower is just gonna rock up online any second now again. So let me just take a look at other departures. Can't find my flight. Hang on, am I even online? Yes, I am. Hmm. Okay. Oh well, I'm sure. Because I'm just also looking at uh, monitoring the the web eye. And uh, can't find my flight. <laughs> Oh well. So, just watch him lift me. There we go. Oh, watch that. Oh, I gotta love. I really love this add-on. Okay. So. Turn on the anti-collision lights. Turn off the packs. And here we go. So, B4 start checklist. Packs. Off. Start pressure. Uh, let's say about 45 psi. Anti-collision light. On. Tess. RTO. Parking brake. Set. Mobile. Off. B4 start checklist complete. So, let me just take a look at the chart. So, I have to do, okay, nose to the right, basically. <coughs> okay, so. Ground a cockpit. Please show me where you want to go. Okay, and enter. So connected and bypassed and inserted. Release parking brake. Okay, <coughs> parking brakes are released. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. Start and push back, and you may start engines. Now let's just go to free camera view. Oh, look at that. God, I love this. I just simply can't get enough of it. Oh well. Let's hop into the cockpit, start th the engines. So, number two engine start. 
and stopwatch. Oh, whoops, that was too early. Damn it. <laughs> Should have waited for 25%. Uh, and two, actually. And the trim. Again, something I oversaw. Let me fix that. Okay, it says 3.4, but I'm just going to leave it at 4 because it doesn't give me en enough nose up trim, in my opinion. So. Number one engine start. Operation complete. Set parking brake. Parking brakes are set. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. Okay, after start items, flaps 5. Toe is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Have a nice flight. Thank you. Flight control check. Rudder. Okay. After start, checklist, electric. Set. Pedo heat. On. Anti ice. Off. Cabin control. Set flight. Engine start switches. Continuous. APU. Off. Rating speed box. 20k, 130, 140. S engine start levers. Idle detent. Recall. Checked. After start. Checklist complete. Taxi. Okay, so... <coughs> left side clear, and I'm assuming the right side is also clear. So, here we go. So, then I need to go straight ahead, then to the left, and then I'll join November. Ah, yeah, since it's an intersection takeoff, and I don't know, did they fix that in the update, that you can put in intersection takeoffs now? Ah, well, it's a bit too late to figure that out now. Whoa. Bumpy. <coughs> I need to calibrate my joysticks again because something is always pulling me. You see, it's always pulling me to the right, uh, to the left. So I need to go to the Echo 8, but first off, taxi checklist, flight controls checked, flaps, 5, green light, 
trim 4.0 0 0 cabin report received taxi checklist complete so and this here is echo 8 here we go one last check is there anyone online I'm gonna put on the strobes already nope nothing okay Okay, wait, let me just uh, see what this guy's up to. No, he's not landing there. Cool. So off I go. Okay, so right side clear. Approach. The approach sector Three, is clear. Four. On runway three, four. Okay. So take off. Take a person. Eighty. Go. Rotate. Gear up. Enough. Now it might be wise to turn on the terrain map. Okay, N one speed two hundred ten. And I'm not going to follow the flight directors that that closely because it's a bit twitchy. So, and flaps one. You're going to see it twitch up in a second. Turbulent here. And flaps up. And I'm just going to maintain level change. And autopilot on. Level 200. There we go. And speed restriction until Zurich 503, 210 knots. Okay, so I'm going to do VNAV. No, sorry, yeah, VNAV. <coughs> so 
center of the Hedingberg. Oh, it's quite turbulent here. And altimeters. Standard. Okay, 10,000 feet checks. Nope, we're still pressurizing. Okay, then. Uh, <coughs> after takeoff checklist, altimeters, standard, uh, flight level 102, engine bleeds. On, packs, auto, gear, up and off, flaps, up, lights out. After takeoff checklist complete. And we won't need the terrain radar anymore. We're pretty much above all the terrain. <coughs> Let's go for some wing views. I mean, this is the perspective I like most as a passenger. It's like whenever I fly, I try to get something behind the wing. And this is like my most favorite perspective. Ah, the joys of flying. Oh, back to the cockpit. Center of the heading bug. So another 17.2 miles. So what? Uh, another seven minutes until we reach our top of descent, uh, top of climb. But now the turbulence has died down, so I can release the passengers. So, let's see what's going on. Who's online? Yep, Frankfurt's online. That's good. And that's the thing is that I mean apart from the pre-flight and the departure and the descent preparation and landing, there's not really that much to do <laughs> on flights, which is why I personally I I tend to prefer shorter flights because then there's a bit more to do. 
I mean, long haul is also nice every now and then, but I don't know. Long hauls also tend to be boring. Oh well. Center the or preemptively center the heading bug. There we go, flying over Lake Constance. Or in German, the Bodensee. Hmm. Oh, where is that? I think somewhere over there. That's where I think where Constance is. A good friend of mine lives there. And that, I believe, is Friedrichshafen. go, level off. Perhaps could have flown a bit higher, but... Nah, that's fine. We can stay here. Get to see more of the ground. Ah, uh, what a view. <laughs> Let's try another window. Just beautiful. I mean, seriously, X-Plane is, like, is a flight sim that I have underestimated for so long. It's unbelievable. And the thing what I really enjoy about X-Plane is just like how user-friendly it is, in the sense that, uh, I mean, I'm aware that previous iterations of X-Plane were, I mean, the user interface wasn't that user-friendly, but what I mean is just, you know, like, how it's, you know, f very friendly to the, m you know, modding community. So, like, there are, like, a bunch of plugins and mods that you can get for, uh, yeah, for X-Plane. And, uh, I mean, I don't know, I just, I just think that that is so cool. I mean, like, for example, that better pushback, uh, um, uh, um, um, plugin. Uh, it's, like, it's free of charge. And I don't know, it just like works like a charm. Or also uh, this uh, uh, XRAAS, you know, like the that computer voice that tells me you're approaching runway two eight and so on. I mean, that's also just a plugin. I, mean, I don't know, it's just I don't know, it's just I mean, a lot of stuff that in for you know like P three D or Microsoft Flight Simulator that you find it as a payware. You can find a lot of that stuff on X Plane for free, which I find is remarkable. Uh, Anyway, <coughs> let's just zoom out a bit. Okay. And let's just take a look. What are the active runways in Frankfurt? Yeah, the two fives. Good. So that's in line with uh, what had I have in store. So let me just set up the correct approach plates. So, ILS Zulu 25 left. Where art thou? There you are. And then the ground charts. So, I need this one. And perhaps this one and that one. That should do the trick. And while I have some more time on my hands, I'm just going to already put in the descent winds. Just because I can. 
So, forecast. Transition level is... Six zero. That's what I thought. Alright, let me just... Ah, there we go. And the winds I need are, so... Gonna go for... No. Eighteen thousand. Fourteen thousand. And... Eleven thousand. So... Check altitude target. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me finish what I'm doing first. 250 slash 57. 252 slash 50. And 253 slash 44. And execute. So, what does it want me to do? Hmm. Not too sure. <coughs> oh well, don't matter. So, we got another 80 miles to the top of descent. You see, that's what I love about short flights. It's like, yeah, you don't waste too much time in the cruise. I mean, I'm aware that my videos are long enough as they are. Uh, once I manage to work out my video editing skills, I'm probably going to be uh, uh, doing longer flights, but then just, you know, uh, just, you know, cut up the video accordingly so that we have a shortened video and just basically uh, trim out the dead space in between. But I have a long ways to go before I, I can do that. <coughs> anyway. Let me just go ahead and prepare everything, so... Okay, so Spessart is the clearance limit. And I need to be below flight level 110. At or below, let me see, is that in there? Yes, it is. Good. So that means, just to verify, so that is 9,000 feet difference, 9 times 3 is 27, so roughly 30 miles before Spessart is my top of descent. Well, let's verify that. Yeah. I mean, it's a rough estimate, but that looks about right. <coughs> Okay. Oh, we're in the clouds. Hmm. What's a static temperature like? Hmm. Ah. Oh, I just discovered a bug. Oh well. I can also do that. Okay. Cool. So, engine and wing anti-ice is gonna come on. Throw all that on. <coughs> okay, so I'm just gonna do my approach preparations. So yeah, it'll be flaps thirty. Let me check the weather over there. So two four zero at fourteen knots. Four zero at fourteen knots. It's a headwind, so gonna wind correction make that seven. Twenty five degrees, can H one zero one four. Okay, good enough. So now two four seven.
two, four, seven. Oh, come on. And frequency one, 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 decimal one, five. And the minimum is 570. So that should be right about there. Yeah, there we go. And auto brakes 3. Oh, we're out of the clouds. So all this is going off again. That's where the click spot is, okay. Alright, so I'll let me do an approach briefing, so it'll be in a uh, ILS approach, runway 25 left. ILS Zulu approach, runway 25 left in Frankfurt. Final altitude is 4,000 feet. Glad path comes in at uh, 11.3 DME or the waypoint Letki. Check altitude at 4.2 DME is 1,710 feet and minimum is minimum are uh, 570 feet. In case of misapproach, continue straight ahead at heading 248 and then at 5 DME 5.5 DME Frankfurt Main or 2.5 DME Fried. Left turn intercept radial. 243 of Frankfurt Main and then at 8 DME Frankfurt Main um, or minimum 5,000 feet, whichever is later. Left turn, direct Charlie, maintain 5,000. And uh, this will be flaps 30, auto brakes 3. Approach briefing complete. Take a look around, shall we? What a beautiful day to go flying. Let's go. Let's go to the passenger cabin. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that. Just beautiful. <laughs> awesome. Just awesome. Okay, time to take another sip of water. That's interesting. I only noticed this now. What happened here? I'll have to look at the video again. I don't know how long that was like that. Was that maybe when I got that weird message on my FMC? <laughs> anyway. So now let's just go ahead to the overhead panel, just set these things up. So all this is good, and elevation is 364 feet. Okay. So. Let's do the descent checklist. Recall. Checked. Cabin control. Set. Auto brake. Three. Approach briefing completed. Landing data. VREF one. Oh. Okay. Update. Okay. So VREF one three four minimum five hundred seventy feet. Descent checklist complete.
Und das passt bei Stuttgart. <lacht> Now there's that old, there's a very interesting bug in in this aircraft. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to do a clean install of this aircraft. Is that uh, in the progress page? When you go to the third page, you know, to get all this information, it's not displayed. But then when you go back to the first page, part of that part of the third page is not superimposed. On the first page, you can see here it's all garbled up. So. I don't know what that is. I'll have to look into that. Anyway, I'm gonna select flight level 110 and let the FMS do its thing. <coughs> I love that sound effect. Okay, another 13 miles. I'm just going to pre-select the Frankfurt tower frequency. But I won't tune to. But I won't uh, switch over to that just yet. Set TKS to below. Yeah, didn't do that, so set that to below.
And here we go. Now, will it do just as smooth of a descent, or will it dive bomb this time? Let's wait and see. Well, looks smooth. Okay, so they improved the characteristics of that. Because before the update, it was just... Descents were quite tricky to manage, I found. Because it would just... Yeah. <clears throat> just fall down like a rock. Clouds. What's the temperature like? Plus four degrees. Uh, I'm gonna put the engine NTIs on. Yeah. Put on the wing NTIs as well while I'm at it. <coughs> on. And I'm already going to select 8,000 for the next constraint. Okay. Hmm. Trying to maintain altitude, eh? Even though I thought we're supposed to go down to 8,000. Yeah. Okay, I mean 8,000 or above. But 
still. Okay, we'll just hang around at 11,000 for a while. Same difference. to say right now, I have to say. <laughs> I don't know, I just, I really don't like, you know, having these, you know, awkward moments of silence, because I ran out of things to talk about, but kind of also just, you know, soaking everything up and uh, just making sure that my approach will go to plan, so... And just making sure that the 737 does exactly that what I tell it to. <laughs> and there I can see it's the, some lights. Center of the heading bug, once again. Our preemptive centering of the heading bug. At least here I got some ILS indication, that's a good sign. Because if you guys remember my approach into Zurich, uh, <laughs> yeah, that was a weird approach. <coughs> Just didn't have any ILS indication. Just gonna manually dial everything down and descend to eight thousand feet. Because I don't trust my VNAV. <laughs> first.
Oh well, we'll just go back to the cabin. Oh, I think it's raining a little bit. <coughs> <laughs> Cool. Just awesome. Okay, select four thousand feet. And the Q and H is. Let me just get the most accurate one. Oh, one zero one four. Excellent. So, approach checklist, altimeter is 1014, 7200. Approach checklist complete. Okay, I'm just going to tune into the tower now. Okay. There we go, airport in sight. Oh, speed went down even further. So let's do this. I'm super three here, uh, ready to start preparing to back. Um, push, push back and push. Push them to approve friendship to Hmm. No localizer information? What is going on here? I have glide slope, but no localizer. We have the right frequency. 111.15, 111.15. Cross reference that with a chart. 111.15. Ah, speak of the devil. So, we'll lock. There we go.
So we have a Frankfurt apron online all of a sudden. Okay. And flaps life. Okay, glass love coming in. Looking good. There is a glass look capture. Five thousand feet in the for a go around. And let me make my call. Frankfurt Tower, Gude, Lufthansa, Tree, Charlie, established Eilis, Zulu, 25 left. Lufthansa, Tree, Charlie, um, uh, are you able to from the 25 center? Lufthansa, Tree, Charlie, affirm, 25 center uh, is okay. Cleared visual approach runway 25 center in case of misapproach uh, follow published procedure for ILS uh, 25 center Lufthansa uh, Tree Charlie. Okay. Interesting. So let's do this. So speed mode deselect. So and again, some manual labor involved and gear down. And flaps 40. Uh, 30. Clear land runway 25 center Lufthansa Tree Charlie. Danke. <coughs> okay, so landing checklist. Engine start switches. Continuous. Speed brake. Armed green light. 
Gear, down 3 green, flaps 30 green light. Landing checklist complete. Ah, it's always so hard to do this. <laughs> you know, I'm f doing so many things without a co-pilot. Checked. Runway's in sight. Frankfurt Tower of 95 to zero left, runway 25 left. That's like 95 to zero. Uh, uh, Taxi wire, Mike and Tango, hold your uh, Tango 4. Thank you, Fetus. 400. Ignore. <coughs> Spoiler supply, reverse unlocked. 80 knots. Okay. Manual braking. What is that? Lima 10. Ah, okay. Okay, after landing items. We report the winds here on 1,500 feet on final surprise ride. We report the winds here on 1,500 feet on final surprise ride. We report the winds here on Charlie, contact from the apron, 1 to 1 Desmond 850. 1 to 1 Desmond 850, Lufthansa 3 Charlie, danke, tschüss. From Nikki 520, the taxi phone, so it's probably making... Frankfurt apron, hallo Lufthansa 3 Charlie, uh, on taxiway Lima 10, uh, request taxi stand. Lufthansa 3 Charlie, do you have any preferred stand on me? Uh, irgendwas im Alpha-Bereich, also Alpha 3, 4 zum Beispiel. Lufthansa 3 Charlie, take. Lufthansa 3 Charlie, take to gate Alpha 3, 4, via November 8, link 1, and November 7. Taxi stand Alpha 34 via November 8, Link 1, November 7, Lufthansa 3 Charlie. Snapshot 320, sorry for delays, contact tower 119, bye bye. Okay. Start APU. 
That's a short taxi right there. Uh, to the, uh, oh boy, they're all floating in the sky. So, okay. number two engine shut down. Via Lima, November 1 and November Orange. So, can you please repeat? Then you have to the row. Taxi to gate Echo Shoe. Barolima, November 1 and November Yellow. Taxi to gate Echo 2, via Lima, November 1 and November Yellow. So it was an Alpha 3 4. So one of these. So there's 3 6, the next one's 3 4. Oh. Bit tricky single engine taxi. Brakes are set. AP is on bus. Okay. Number one engine shut down. Okay, connect all that. Okay, don't need that anymore, and don't need that anymore. And I'm going to release the parking brakes. So, parking checklist. Window and pitot heat. Off. Anti-ice. Off. Anti-collision light. Off. Engine start switches. Off. Landing lights. Off. Flaps. Up. Lights out. Speed brake. Down detent. Is that the down detent? Yeah. Down detent. Engine start levers. Cut off. Parking brake. Off. Weather radar mode. Off. Parking check was complete. Okay, let me just switch to Unicorn. Taxi to gate at 6 by November 1. There we go. Back in Frankfurt again. <coughs> And here we are, safe and sound. Uh, well, I don't know. Uh, I don't really know what to say. I mean, that was just pure joy, just uh, flying that aircraft. Yeah, uh, approach went well. I mean, that was also an interesting approach, uh, so-called swing over. Um, I've actually uh, seen that many times in real life. Uh, I actually jump seated one of uh, on one of my flights uh, where we did a swing over from runway uh, 07 at the time the the northern runway didn't exist yet but at the time it was the 07 right and 07 left 
so we swung over to runway 07 left. Uh, actually, I think I have a video. Yeah, um, actually, I have a video of that uh, uh, uploaded on my YouTube channel. Uh, the one, uh, the jump seat flight with Lufthansa from Berlin, Tegel back to Frankfurt. They're approaching to Frankfurt there. You can also see it done. And uh, yeah, um, I mean, uh, it's uh, just more of a convenience. I mean, for, uh, for the passengers and for the crew that basically, you know, they don't have to taxi as far. And, uh, yeah. So, anyways, just to wrap things up, um, yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this flight. Uh, I certainly did. And uh, hope to see you guys next time. Uh, until then, happy landings and take care.